We are gods, we are kings, we march in faith, cause we believe we can Change the world to what it needs, stand against our enemies, cause we can Yeah We are kings demanding change Cause we believe we can You must walk in all of your father's ways if you lived in your father's house and was raised by a father, you don't have an option of telling your dad, nah, I don't feel like doing that today, dad. I'm not taking the trash out on Wednesday. I'm gonna take it out on Friday. That's not an option. Right. When dad says do it, that's when you do it. Exactly how he wants you to do it. Right. Who needs to be saved? The people shopping from the Arab, I mean, we, we spending our money with the Arab man every day at that corner store. Every single day, all day. Every day, all day. All that beer, all them cigarettes, all that money for everything you want go right to his pocket. And you know what he do with it? He go back and take it to his community while our community suffers. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 10. Don't go nowhere yet, Tay. I need you for a few more minutes. Read. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And now, Israel. Who? Israel. When the Bible says Israel, you got to understand Tay is talking about you. Because are you a so-called black man, a so-called African-American? The Bible says that people referred to as African-Americans are Israelites from the tribe of Judah, Tay. Right. You one of God's chosen people. You one of God's sons. Right, right. God only has a few sons. He, he, only, has, he only has 12 different types of sons. And they come from the 12 tribes. Right. They all one family, bro. You a part of God's family. He didn't choose everybody. The white man is not a part of God's family. Right. The Arab man is not a part of God's family. Right. The Chinese man that owns the, the nail salons and the beauty supplies is not a part of God's family. Right. You, so-called black man, the so-called Hispanic people, the so-called Native American people are God's chosen people. That's God's family. That's, That's right. His literal family, not some spooky type stuff. His literal, we was with him in the heavens and he sent us to the earth to subdue the earth right with what his commandments but we turned away from his commandments so he said what y'all were supposed to rule the planet but now the people that i created to serve you that man in there was supposed to be mopping your floor and your castle and your palace that's right, right. that white man that cut your check was supposed to be cutting your grass and planting your flowers and plucking them weeds bring it out that Arab man was supposed to be washing, that, that, that Chinese man was supposed to be washing your dishes. Right. And the Bible calls him a what? A wash pot. Teach. Right. Literally, these are the things that the Bible says. But because you, Tay, you, Reuben, you, EJ, you broke God's commandments, you know what? That's why he puts you on Section 8. That's why you was raised without a daddy. That's why you got three girls pregnant and you ain't taking care of none of the kids. That's why you dropped out of high school. That's why you've been arrested. That's why you've been right over there across the street at the precinct. Because you broke God's commandments and you're still breaking them to this day. You must repent, my brothers. Read that again, Deuteronomy 10. And now, Israel. And remember, Tay, when the Bible says Israel is talking about you, my brother with the hat, come highlight us for a few minutes, Reuben. When it says Israel is talking about you, EJ, when it says Israel is talking about you, what does it require? Read. What does the Lord thy God require of thee? Meaning this is not an option. This isn't something you get to sign up for. You don't get to start it for a little while and, and then quit it when you don't feel like it. This is your duty, your obligation as a child of God. As one of God's sons, these are the things that you must do. It's a requirement. Read. To walk in all his ways. As a child of God, you must walk in all of God's ways. 
You don't get to pick the ones that are convenient for you. You don't get to pick the ones that you like. You don't get to omit the ones that you don't feel like doing. You must walk in all of your father's ways. If you lived in your father's house and was raised by a father, you don't have an option of telling your dad, nah, I don't feel like doing that today, dad. I'm not taking the trash out on Wednesday. I'm gonna take it out on Friday. That's not an option. Right. When dad says do it, that's when you do it. Exactly how he wants you to do it. Right. And our father is no different. That's what you must understand. Read. To walk in all his ways uh -huh. and to love him. You must love your father, your God, because he's only your God. He's not the God of everybody. You must love your God. Read. And to serve the Lord thy God. We've been serving every other God that's ever been created. Except our God that's actually God. Right. Only our God has power on this earth. But we got new doors only one. It's only one. It's only one. But who is he? What does he look like? We're gonna show you. He looks just like you. Right. We were made in his image. Not everybody. Right. He has hair like wool, so we his son, Christ, has hair like wool, so we have hair like wool. Y'all follow that? You see how simple that is? The white man has what? Straight hair? But God has woolly hair. Is he a child of God? No. If my wife gave birth to a child that had straight hair and blue eyes, I'd be like, well, who the hell is that? <laughs> who's, his, who's his daddy? And that's how the Lord looks at who? The other nations. He don't care about them. Keep reading. To serve the Lord thy God uh -huh. with all thy heart and with all thy soul. To keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. The commandments of God, the statutes of God were given to us for our good. I'm going to give you an example. The commandments of God say, thou shalt not kill. That was given to us for our good. Because you know, you know what naturally happens within a family? You ever been to a family reunion? What happens when a bunch of family gets together? Somebody get to fighting. The father knows what his he, he knows the habits of his children. So there's a commandment in place to help deal with his children. There's a commandment that says, thou shalt not kill. Because EJ, let's say you're my big brother, right? Every time we come together, we know we, we dap it up, we kick it, we start drinking, we having a good time. And then you bring up something that's embarrassing from my childhood. Now we ready to scrap. Now it go too far. Now I can grab the gun, you didn't grab, now I didn't kill my own brother. But the Bible has laws in place to prevent that from happening. Because you one of God's sons and so am I. How can I kill one of God's children? Right. There's other laws in place for our good. Like what? Thou shalt not steal. What belongs to you is yours. Right. What belongs to me is mine. Thou shalt not commit adultery. If you marry, EJ, you marry. Reuben, you marry. I can't go have sex with your woman. Right. You can't go have sex with my woman. That's against the law. That's against whose law? God's law. God's law. This is the supreme law here. Every law that you encounter here on this planet originates from this book right here. Don't let nobody ever tell you that this is a white man's book. What's some other laws? There's another law called the Sabbath. Let's go to Genesis chapter 2 real quick. The, the Sabbath is what? You already know. The Sabbath is Saturday. The seventh day of the week. And y'all sisters come get a flyer real quick. Genesis chapter 2 verse 1. The book of Genesis chapter 2 verse 1. Hey my man, hey, come stay a minute, bro. Bill with us for a few minutes. Read. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished uh -huh. and all the hosts of them. And on the seventh day. On which day? The seventh day. God ended his work. So let me, my brother brought out an excellent point yesterday. He said, what example is a child going to follow? Is it going to follow the, is it going to follow what you, if, if you're a parent are you, and you teach your child to do one thing, but you do another thing, what do you think your child is going to do? He's going to do what you do, not what you say, right? So this right here is an example of what our father did on the seventh day of the week. So we're going to read it again. 
again on the seventh day. On the seventh day. Everybody out here got a cell phone. My brothers across the street, I know y'all got a cell phone. My brothers right here, I know y'all got a cell phone. If you pull up a calendar on your cell phone, it starts with an S at the beginning of the week, and it ends with another S at the end of the week. Why? Because Sunday is what? The first day of the week. And Saturday is what? The last day of the week. So the seventh day is what day? Saturday. It's easy, and they put it right in front of your face, but we gotta, we gotta wake up. We gotta, we gotta wake up to our true nationality. We gotta wake up to what God requires of us. Read. And on the seventh day, God ended his work, uh -huh. which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day. So the Lord created a day for his children to rest and be refreshed, because that's exactly what he did on the seventh day. So if, if our father, the creator of everything on heaven and earth, the creator of all spirits, if he needed rest once in a week, how much more do you think you need? You need, you need the same thing. So that's why when we go back to Exodus, go to Exodus chapter 20, verse eight, I'm showing you the connection between your father and you as his son. The, the father showed you what he did on the seventh day, and he's not a hypocrite, is he? Is the Most High God a hypocrite? Is he going to tell you to rest on the seventh day when he rested on the first? Is, is he going to tell you to rest and he never rested at all? No. Read. The book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 8. Read. Remember the Sabbath day. What do we have to remember about the Sabbath day? Exactly. We got to remember that it's a holy day. It's a day that our Father set aside. He blessed that day. And he made it special for you and for him. Read. To keep it holy, six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. Just like our Father in heaven. My brother, what's your name? Mike. Just like our Father in heaven. That's the name of one of the archangels, Michael. Hey, hey soldier, what, what does Michael mean? Oh, uh, Michael means is who is like God. Who is like God. I'll tell you who was like God. The so-called black man, Hispanic man, and Native American man. That's right. That's when, right. when they return back to keeping God's commandments. Right. Right. But we live like Satan right now. We don't live like God's. We live like niggas. We live like slaves. We live like the scum of the earth. But we got to rise back up as a people. Straight savage. We, we live like savages. That's why the white man has no respect for us. None of the nations have any respect for us. Right. We don't respect ourselves. Read. In it, thou shalt not do any work, uh -huh. thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor the stranger that is within thy gates. This law is so deep because it, it forces you to command your household. The Sabbath day alone forces you to command your household. Right. If you got somebody living with you and you want to know whether they for you or not, keep the Sabbath. <laughs> and do it according to the Bible, and you're gonna find out real quick. If you married to a woman, and you institute the Sabbath day, the sa part of the Sabbath day requirement is that everybody in your household must keep it. So you're gonna see whether this woman is truly for you and for the Lord or not, based on whether she keep the Sabbath or not. That's the beginning. If somebody living with you can't keep the Sabbath, they don't really love you according to the Bible. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. 
please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.